We are rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. So we'll just do a full episode on here. Okay. I'm calling call here. Calling here. Do the. Do the like we used to, so we'll reset it. Aaron. Aaron. Finish it up. Aaron. 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 Aaron, are you there? Aaron, are you there? Aaron, are you there? Aaron? Yeah. Hey, there's yeah. Aaron. There's Aaron. Well, we're getting a lot of phone feedback there. Can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, you ready? We're ready with the bells on. Testing. One, two. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to the Five Live Bears podcast. We are, as always, very thankful that you are joining us as we embark on another journey through the weird or whatever we talk about. (laughs) We are Louisville's best podcast, as voted by ourselves. So uh, we're doing really good in our own eyes. Four out of five really (laughs) approve. uh, That's right. uh, 80% or something like that. So we're doing well. I don't even know if that's right. I don't know. I don't don't do math. Math is not my... Do what? Five is eighty percent. Okay, I you know I never know. That's, that's Brian know. for you, man. He's got the, he's really got the sure. numbers in his head and math, all that stuff. Math. I work with numbers all day long, but it's not my strong suit. I'm not really <laughs> sure how I got there. But anyway, it says always we are glad you are here. We are down a bear as Charlie is not with us this week. We hope to have him back next week. Uh, hopefully, reviewing Captain Marvel. Da-na-na. But uh, this week we decided to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about some of our uh, some actors and some different roles, but before we do, how is everybody doing? Let me ask you this: Tell me, um, John, tell me your favorite donut. Oh wow! Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, man. No, Tim, Tim I'm, just comes up I'm with just something new off the wall. We we start out new on YouTube again this week. We're oh, we're, yes, we're we back are on YouTube. On the YouTubers. We um we decided to go Faces back to it after made a couple for weeks. YouTube. We got the kinks worked out in the camera and the audio and stuff. And we're back by popular demand. Many of the students in my eighth grade social studies class, for some reason, watched us. So they were like, where are you going to be on YouTube? I was like, well, we they don't do They just like looking at your Aww. pop. Since our, since our last time on here, the pop wall has grown. Yeah, it's about done. The, the pop wall is about done. Um, it's only going to the corner over here. And then I'm through. I'm through no, with you're it. Not. I'm, I'm done. It, now that doesn't include the big ones because I mean, we got some of the big ten inch ones here now that uh, mm-hmm. the I, I got big the, Ewok. I got the big Ewok now and, the, and a Porg and some other things over here, but um, that doesn't count. Favorite favorite donut? I would have to say it would have to be a uh, cream filled Long John. That is mm. that is it, and it doesn't. It can either. I have, am shocked that you, John, like a donut named John. Well, you know, shocked. it's it's not really it's because named, named after him. It is well, yeah. I mean, you easy, know, it's, it's it's named it's named for greatness, and it, it's it's incredible. But let me let me go on and explain it. Okay. Since, since you're, since I'm you got sorry. Go on. Go on. <laughs> it, go on. It's um. It's they can either be the ones that are chocolate covered. Mm. Or it can be the ones that are got the um, kind of the the white, um, oh what is that Car- caramelized on top? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the best. They make. We're getting ready to go in the next few weeks. We're going to be going back down to Gatlinburg for uh, a vaca- don- for vacation fry. for spring break. And first thing you do is when you get there, you drop the stuff off at the at the hotel or, or wherever you're staying, and you go to the donut fryer because they have Preach. Preach. yes. Testify. Preach. They have tune, in you, tune into the YouTube to see Brian going wild right now. When when I go this year, I'm gonna I'm a I'll I'll eat one for YouTube well, right thank there. You. Thank you. Um, we'll get all types of check this out. <laughs> I eat this long jaw. Oh, please don't, um, please don't. <laughs> Oh, but anyways, down there, what they do is the bottom is just a little <laughs> bit, a little bit crispy. Question. I should not have asked. That it's way. a little bit crispy on the bottom, and that makes it that makes it wonderful. At, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, oh. at, at work, they know the fastest way to my heart is with donuts. Brian's so. favorite donut. So I, I I too like the long john. I do not like cream in it though. But uh, honorable it's mention be would there. be the Krispy Kreme lemon filled. Oh wow! Donut. Wow! I, I don't. Dunkin' Donuts is really up their game lately. I don't too. like Dunkin'. Donuts. I know this is going to shock I used you to all, not, but I'm telling you, they've up their a game. A little dry. Oh, I I good. don't like 
filled Tim, donuts. You don't, need, you don't need anything other than chicken tenders. <laughs> you know what I and like? Crackers. You know what I like? I like a nice glazed donut. Of course just, you do. Just plain glazed. If you get the Krispy Kreme ones, when they're oh hot, yeah, yeah, when they're hot, good. It's good. There's there's this local donut donut place in Mount Washington that serves really good fresh donuts. Donut King. Until the the owner may have been running a drug deal <laughs> and he got shot. Yeah. But other than that, it's great. He's well, reopened the donut and game. Such is we good always too. stop. We always stop at Krispy Kreme when we go to the BG and and on the way home. <laughs> yeah. And they have one. The BG. We have a Bowling Green. I don't have a. I need to get that Bowling the Green. Bowling Green. You need to make Bowling it. Bowling Green. Yeah. Bowling Green. And they always have the fresh sign on. My, or we'll go in there and be like, are they hot and fresh? And guys like, getting ready to start them up here in the next five minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll All right, Aaron, what, do you, what is yours? Did you see coming off? Yeah, he's on. like, I he's did. like, I'm running this John, podcast. we've already talked John. five minutes on donuts. I got to I gotta get us moving. <laughs> Aaron. I talk all day on donuts. Um, Aaron's like, what's a donut? <laughs> down here in I Texas. like the ones with, uh, I, like I guess it's sugar on them. So there's like the powder sugar, powdered donuts. On me. You mean like the the kind you get in the bag, like the white powdered sugar donuts? Yes. Hostess? Like the the, no, not those. No, no. Like it's you get them at the at the you know the donut place. They got the wow. Okay, <laughs> Timmy, what's on the agenda for tonight? So you tell me you get the donuts at the donut place, Eric? Oh, uh, yeah, you know the donut place. <laughs> wow. You're not talking about glazed donuts, are you? We ain't no, talking about a donut. We ain't talking about a real donut. It's like. It's not cinnamon. It looks like cinnamon. It's it's covered with you know. Like oh, a like a, sugar a cinnamon topping. twist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it is cinnamon. I don't know. Tonight on the Five Live Bears, <laughs> we talk donuts, <laughs> folks. We dissect. Right, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm no sorry, guys. What our true I'm passions sorry. were, yeah. and it's donuts. We dissect All the right. world of donuts tonight. Wow. Is a Danish a donut? Before I return to YouTube, we're talking donuts. <laughs> Brent, if Charlie's pictures. here, he'd get up right now and just slap me across the face. <laughs> no. Like, why with, did you ask no, such a he, question? Charlie would be like, what are we doing, guys? He'd be like, with coffee. I'm on my phone. That's I'm my out. answer. Boom. With coffee. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would so, be, that'd be amazing. That's true. But uh, tonight, we uh, I saw on Instagram on Loot Crate, uh, their site a couple weeks back, they, they posted, if you were to take an actor and take four roles that they've played and build the ultimate team for a battle royal, who would be your actor? And they gave Samuel L. Jackson as an example, and they used uh, Mace Windu from the Star Wars movies, uh, Jules from Pulp Fiction, Nick Fury from the Marvel movies, and Frozone from the Incredibles movies. So that was their example. So we gave ourselves some parameters. Uh, it can be a voice that they have, uh, uh, you know, voice in a cartoon or, or something like that or a TV show. It's like Frozone. Uh, it, it can be a god, but a killable god. It can't be the god such as Morgan Freeman and Bruce Almighty, okay? Because then, you know, your team's pretty much invincible. Sure. So those are the parameters we gave. We're going to go around the room uh, and even all the way down to Texas. Give our actor, give their four or actress, give their four roles, and uh, at the end we'll, we'll talk about who we think did the best job. So, we will start with Aaron. So, I, I have two actors, just in case someone magically picked one of them, but I'll, I'll go with my first one. Uh, and that would be James Earl Jones. Okay. Um, which I know you think that's an odd choice, but well, first off, you got Darth Vader, obviously. Um, so, you know, extremely powerful. Then we got Mufasa from Lion King, so he's, you know, pretty big lion. <laughs> Then, that's, like, that's like donut shop. <laughs> get at the donut place. I'll take a Mufasa. You got Mufasa. He's a lion. Can I get a Mufasa donut? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Aaron. Then we have Tulsa Doom from the Conan movies. If you don't know who that is, he played a sorcerer that could turn to a giant snake and all this crazy stuff. Okay, what was his um, name? Tulsa T H U L S A. I'm not sure if that's how you I'm not. It. I'm not hashtagging that. Tulsa. That'll get right. thrown off. And Facebook. Doom, like Doctor Doom, is his last name. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, on an episode of Recess, he played Santa Claus. And Santa Claus, you know, is extremely powerful, all-knowing, super fast. And what is you know, your obsession strong. with Santa Claus? <laughs> Seriously. It's Santa Claus. You're like a Santa freaking Claus. It's, you're like obsessed with the Santa Claus movies. You made a spin-off movie with Jason Momoa in it. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. He is a magical being that is extremely powerful. Played by Bill Goldberg in Santa Slays. Yeah, yes. that was good. Okay, Aaron, uh, thanks. 
Thanks, Aaron. What? Darth Vader, Mufasa, Aaron, Pulsar if Doom, nobody and com- Santa Claus. If nobody comes up with the second one, I'm, I'm curious to hear your second choices. All right. All right. This is the one I've been waiting for. John, let's hear it. He beats mine all to pieces. I mean, I don't I don't have any – this is – I went totally like um, – like earthbound here. Okay. I didn't do okay. any, That's I didn't do right. any, I, I, I picked somebody who could help me survive okay. the apocalypse. Okay. That's okay. what I went I mean, with. That wasn't the parameters. So though. I went with, I went with the, the, with the man's man here. I, I went totally with, with one of the greatest men's men of all time. Oh, gosh. Charleston Heston. That is, okay. That's my boy there. <laughs> that's right. You got Moses. Man. I did, but I didn't, I didn't put Moses on here. Oh, man. I, I picked him that as. That man parts the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Let my people go. I mean, John, come on now. No, the power hang on. of God there, on his side. But there, <laughs> there were there were grittier parts. Okay. That he there was were playing. better people than Moses. <laughs> Who did you? What what, what grittier? Like parts? the guy that fought apes. <laughs> Dang it, man. That's who I picked. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, John. He won't let me. Go with your top four. Talk about Moses. He parts the sea. <laughs> then you use him. I can't. No, you picked him. <laughs> All right. Here's your Anyways, I use I took Detective Thorn from Soylent Green because he's just hardcore and rigid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. He he picked Darth Vader. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> he, he just Aaron completely just kicked us all in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, are you sure? Are you sure? I've got, I've got are you cover. sure he didn't just kick you in the face? <laughs> I was gonna say, I got. Are you sure we didn't all just kick you in the face? (laughs) Hold on, hold on. I'm working. Let me do my thing. (laughs) Okay, Charleston Heston, some character we've never heard of. Okay, next. Detective Thorn. Thorn, the greatest people. That's what he does. He figures it out. He is mean. (laughs) He's hardcore. Okay. George Taylor from Planet of the Apes, because nobody can wear a loincloth like that and get away with it. There's just no way. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me, you dang dirty apes. Um, Graft from Earthquake, because that's a resourceful character. Graft as in G-R-A-F-T? G-R-A-F-T, that's his name in Earthquake. In the movie Earthquake, yeah. where he's in a, a high-rise and he survives the earthquake? Yeah, that, like, uh, yeah. Like San Andreas. It's one of those, well, mm-hmm. no, 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 it's better than San Andreas. <laughs> San Andreas is just a rock flying Is Charles Heston the old school rock? Yes. Yeah, pretty much, except he was a real man's man. Yes. Hey, you shut and your last, mouth. <laughs> And you last, shut your mouth. But last but not least, <laughs> Neville. Neville from a Mega Man. There you go. Now, see, I went with some serious old school apocalyptic you dystopian did. shows and movies there for my for my boy Charleston. You did. I know I'm not going to win because of the way you're all giggling about every every character. Well, I've... Aaron picks Santa Claus. Okay. I mean... Well, I mean, when it's the... Santa Claus. Okay, you guys. said you said Aaron go first. And what's he say? Darth Vader, right off the top. Well, I'm just like, I thought you, the most imaginative person I've ever met in my life, would have thought of something different than Charles Heston. You just go on with yourself, because that's what I wanted. All right. Well, my boy, Charleston. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> uh, See, end of it. End of it. Brian. Good night, folks. <laughs> We're out. Wow. The podcast wow. is over. Uh, so I went with went with Chris Pratt. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna get Star Lord. Oh man. Emmett Brakowski from the Lego movie. Yeah. Owen, of course, from Jurassic World. And Josh Faraday from the Magnificent Seven. I wanna go over again. I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> John, that's how I feel every time we have a list we have to put together with this group of people. Yeah. I'm like, oh crap. I so usually I'm at good. usually I'm at the top yeah, of the Yeah, tonight, tonight you're at the bottom, just, bro. I know. We can't all be at the top. Not all the time. I like that you went with Emmett. Yeah. Although, uh, if you you know that Chris Pratt does two voices in the new movie, you could have got Rex uh, yeah, his other Rex Danger Vest. Here we go. Here we go. He's talking about Le- Lego it's movie. A, it's a good. But you movie. knew I had to get Owen. I, had to I get mean, Owen. it's no Charlton Heston. Well, I would have picked but, Moses. I mean, hello. But what is what is? Charlton I'm gonna start Heston? my own Charlton Heston <laughs> themed <laughs> podcast. Loincloths only, baby. <laughs> But you're not going to talk about his role as Moses, though. No, no, to. that's not wow. that's that's not within the parameters. Timmy, oh, what do you got? All right, here all we right. go. I'm excited for I this mean, one. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little upset. I didn't go with Charlton Heston. 
Or, you know, like... Did you uh, go with Charles Bronson instead? <laughs> I should have picked Bronson. Bronson. <laughs> Death Wish 1, 2, 3, and 4. There it is right there. What are y'all doing? I think that was Aaron. Aaron fell down or something in the bathroom. From laughing so hard. Aaron, are you still there with us? He's practicing getting on a horse. I'm having like... major technical difficulties. Hold on. All right. Don't Aaron, keep talking. Aaron, uh... Aaron hasn't been able to recover from Charlton Heston being <laughs> dropped. Uh, He's out there trying to get on the floor. Okay, I, I went with Keanu Reeves. Mm. Man. Um, I, I first off, I have John Wick, the greatest assassin ever. Okay. Um, and and he, he is a man's man. He's an actual grounded in reality type person. But then uh, I uh, went with Neo from The Matrix. That's a given. Yeah. Uh, what 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 was that? What was that sound, John? What you went? Rrr. Did I? Yeah. I just I just my internal. And then I uh, then I got um, I got John Constantine from the Constantine series. And then uh, you know what I said? Why not? Let's just get crazy. And I went with Johnny Utah from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not as crazy as I got. <laughs> no. 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 So I, I, that's that's my four. I went with Keanu Reeves. Uh, so I've got Neo, who's who's a super strong, super able to just manipulate all of reality around him. I went with uh, John Wick, able to pretty much kill any normal person. He'd be able to kill a graft from Earthquake. Um, and then uh, John Constantine and Johnny Utah. So that, that's my four. So first round, how are we feeling? Who's got the best? Ooh, ooh, I can tell you he's got the worst. <laughs> Big J. They call him Long John. <laughs> he's got the best donut story ever, but he can't think of somebody good no. to fight in a battle. Uh, Brian, who, who did you like the best, or did you like your yours the best? Um, Well, I, I have to admit, when Aaron like starts off with Vader, it's kind of like, okay. I can understand that. But then at the end, when he's able to land Santa Claus in the group, I just feel like that puts him over the top. Like, you can't, you've got Vader and Santa Claus, the two opposite ends of the spectrum. Really? I mean, boom. So you're going with Santa Claus? Santa, the Santa Claus. Now, if he could have figured out how to get Tim Allen in there. I, I dropped the point break, okay? I dropped the point break reference. I can't do it. I can't okay. do it. Uh, John, who who you liking? <laughs> John's like, my next round of characters. I had to, no, I got to re- go back and refix my next round of characters. I got to, mm-hmm. gotta, uh, I got him now. I, think I, I got know him. who I'm going to do. All right. Uh, John, come on. Who, who you like in the first round here? I have to go with yours because you. I like John Wark. John Wark. Yeah, do you Wick. even know a character? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> John Wick. John is rattled. Is He's shaking. rattled. We have shaken the mighty master. <laughs> John Wick. I like John Wick. And I like the Matrix movies. So, even uh, even the rave scene. <laughs> Could done without that one. The but. rave scene. Aaron, <laughs> did which did you like or did you like yours the best? What was your last character on yours? I Johnny hear. Utah. Oh, from Point Break. Yeah, yeah. The former quarterback of Ohio State, able to uh, uh, catch the presidents. Aaron, go with your presidents. own. Go with Gerald and Heston. I. With yours, I'm, it's tempting, but Neo's only good if he's inside the Matrix. No, but we're, we're all inside the Matrix, Aaron. That's the thing. Oh, okay. Well, if, if we're inside the Matrix, then Neo wins. But if, if not, then I'd probably go with my list. All right. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a break here in a minute, and we're gonna go for round two. John John's got his footing. You wait till the wait till the, he's coming out guns. <laughs> he's got blazing. he's gonna come out guns blazing. He's gonna drop somebody. He's like I'm getting the tooth fairy, the Easter bunny. He's gonna drop Santa like Claus. Alec Baldwin on us or something. Oh, <laughs> Alec Baldwin? No, Kurt Russell. It's Kurt Russell. It's, John, it's Kurt Russell. John Wayne. or Patrick Swayze. <laughs> it's John Wayne. And John nobody Wayne putting on. John in the corner. That's what it's gonna yeah. be. <laughs> so we'll we'll come back in just a minute. Let John regroup. Everybody's gonna come with a second round of of of, uh, of an actor and actress and the four best roles if they fought in a battle royale. All right. Now you can tell your joke again. Ah, the sultry tunes of John Mattingly. Welcome back to the Five Live Bears podcast. Just for people who don't know, though, the reason why we're having a break now is because we're going back on YouTube and we're still using the, the really expensive camera that only records 30 minutes at a time. 
But if you missed the first half of the podcast, Charlie, uh, we are talking about making our own superhero team, but only one actor can or actress can supply all the roles. Four roles. It can be a voice actor. It can be anything like that. We started off with round one, and it sounds like probably Aaron won. Aaron went with James Earl Jones. I'm taking round two. With wow. Darth Vader, That's Mufasa, uh, <laughs> the mean, person from Conan. I only go up. Dulce Doom. Doom. Dulce Doom. And, of course, Santa Claus, which evidently <laughs> swept Brian right off his feet. He was like, done. Uh, Brian went with... Um, Went with who'd you go with, Brian Chris again? Pratt. Chris Pratt. He had um, Emmett from the Lego movie. He had Star Lord. He had the guy from the Magnificent Seven. And Owen. And Owen from uh, Jurassic Park. I went with Keanu Reeves. Had John Constantine. I had Neo, uh, John Wick, and Johnny Utah. Yes, sir, from Point Break. And John. John, unfortunately, went with Charlton Heston. <laughs> Stand by my uh, he Charlton Heston with Detective Thorne. That's right. From the Soylent and Green. No, Soylent Green. That's Soylent I'm Green. So he said Toilet Green. Toilet Gosh, Green. Why can't you ever get it right? Uh, George Taylor from Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Nobody ever Earthquake. heard of it. And Neville from, oh, I've heard of Soylent Green. you never seen Soylent Green? Soylent Green is people. you got to yeah. see it. No. I just spoil it for you. It's absolutely so. One of the greatest uh, we're starting of all time. off round two. I'm going to let John go last because John's John's really building up the hype, really building <laughs> up for the one of us to take it away from No, well, again. I'm not saying it's going to be the best, but it's going to be better than what I had the first and time. And uh, afterwards, we'll probably give some other just kind of uh, runner ups that we were thinking of that that could have been. It took everything I had to put these together. <laughs> well, we we gave you a month to do this. <laughs> Sorry that you're just putting it together. Uh, I'm kind of in the zone right now. I've got like yeah. three now. So Brian's got them all. Brian's got them like tattooed on his body, like uh, <laughs> well, Owen's close, to like Memento heart. or something like yeah. that. All right, uh, Brian, yep. start us off, man. Round two, coming out with uh, none other than Vin Diesel. Oh yeah, fam. I get Dominic Toretto. Yeah, all about the family. Yeah, I get Groot. Yeah, I get Riddick. Yes. And I get either honorable mention Xander Cage from Triple X, Triple X, or Shane Wolf from The Pacifier. Gosh, I stink at this. Man, that is that's a good team. And that's like a that's pretty much an every man team, like Charlton Heston. Yes. <laughs> but like, better, but better. No, it's not. <laughs> but better. I am Groot. <laughs> you got oh, except for Groot. Yeah, yeah Groot's not really never. Groot's cool. But he, he don't. He can't wear a loincloth like that. He doesn't. Need you know, you could. You know what you could have done. You could have done adult Groot and baby Groot because they're two different Groots. And teenage Groot, too. You could no, have just teenage out. Groot and baby Groot are the same person. Baby, baby Groot grew Groot. in the teenage Groot. But isn't the adult Groot? No. Have you not heard that? James, visionary director. <laughs> visionary director James, James Gunn. James said, Gunn. No, this Groot is dead. Baby Groot is like oh, a, yeah, a new okay, offspring. Okay, wonk, wonk, An offspring, okay, yeah, yeah gotcha, exactly. Gotcha. But that's my... That's my that's okay. My. I went with... Uh, with um, you know what? Let's let Aaron go. Oh, no, really don't make me. You know, no, skip me. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> I right. just want to be skipped right, completely. Let, let I go. went with Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. Oh man. I went. <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I went with Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's obvious. Oh, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, well, let's just keep getting worse. To <laughs> um, I forgot that one. He's smog. He's the voice of Smog. Oh, oh wow! And Man. and he is the voice of Dormammu in Doctor Strange, the oh, bad wow. guy, like destroyer of worlds. Oh. That he you might have beat me. I don't know. Yeah, you definitely beat me. Beat or not. me. Yeah. John, so John, uh, you want my so, third choice? I'll give it no, to yeah. I want your third choice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I've got a dragon. Yeah, you, you, I've got a genius detective. I've got the Aaron's. sorcerer. And, um, and I've got uh I don't even know what all of Dormammu's powers are, but he was gonna he was destroying Earth. Aaron has to come up with like Frosty the Snowman here to sway me. He's gonna all go right, Tim here we go. Oh, so oh, I, you're I, close. You're very close. Oh, 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 my oh gosh. gosh. <laughs> here we got I've got I've got Robin Williams. Uh, okay. oh, well, you get you yeah, get Popeye. <laughs> you get the I don't genie feel, from Aladdin. I don't feel so bad now. Genie from Aladdin, okay. <laughs> Peter Pan from Hook. Okay. Aaron. And Teddy Roosevelt from the night of the museum movie. You just said you. I was naming off all of, of Benedict's Aaron. characters, and you said you might have beat me, Aaron. I crushed you, <laughs> Aaron. 
the whole I brotherly Popeye thing. Popeye and the genie. Aaron, Those two uh, right see, there. Aaron, you messed up when you picked the Popeye. You should have picked him from Jumanji. Then you would have had. No. It. I, got, I, got, I got a serious. Popeye no. is like Superman. It was no. all he spinach. He's a, practically invincible. That, it was dumb. I mean, I agree with you, Aaron. And really, your best character there is Genie from the Aladdin, uh, yeah. because he's you know he can just do it. But he is beholden to whoever. Well, has Popeye's got the lamp. Of the lamp. Well, they probably could understand Popeye though. That's a bad idea. Give it to Peter Pan or Teddy was, Roosevelt. Was that a sympathy <laughs> list for me? <laughs> we felt bad for John. Uh-oh. I thought Genie and Popeye were both very I mean, strong Genie's, choices. Genie's Genie good. had it there, but Popeye not. I mean, but the... you could have gone with Will Smith. Well, we'll go in there in a second. I don't want to give John any ideas. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, wait, I got a new list. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need another break. All right. All right, John. <laughs> Lay it on us. All right, okay. John. Who you, who you got? Easy. Easy. Hey, you got like a drum roll? Like, <laughs> Oh, John got a drum roll sound effect. I can't wait till he's like, I went with uh, Chevy Chase. <laughs> Chevy Chase. He's Fletch. <laughs> no on this one, Ash. He's Grizzly. See, you all have got me. You got me so un. I am so down. John doesn't know this is what we feel like every week when we work with him. No, I'm not that with, bad. Uh, with Tim's list, I probably would take it out Sherlock Holmes and put Khan in from uh, Star Trek. Yeah, I saw that. Or also, oh, there's man. Alan Turing, who's like one of the smartest actual human beings alive. Uh, right, wait, wait, wait. So, so he had a lot You're of. You're all ones. so much better John. at this than me. I went with Chris Evans. Okay. That's I went, good. That's okay. Good. okay. I'm, I'm back in the game. Yeah, I'm back in the game. Okay. All right. So my team would be Captain America. Yeah. Okay. The Human Torch. Yeah. Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Because he played that in the in the cartoon version. Okay. And uh, Jensen from The Losers. You could have also gone with Lucas Lee from um, Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Scott yeah. Pilgrim. Yeah. And I also thought about Snowpiercer too, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I think you've I, got I a with, solid list. I went John. with the. I went with the. Yeah, I think you've got Captain America and Human Torch. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's my that's my pick. I should I should have led with that in the very first list, but yeah. it would have been better. I mean, but, I, I but then we wouldn't have had Charles and Eston. <laughs> I panicked on the first list. Yeah. All right. So round two. Who's the winner? Uh, John. John. Who's the winner? Oh, drum roll, John. <clears throat> Me. <laughs> I win it. <laughs> All right. just, just because I came back, it's like a <laughs> phoenix coming out of the fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were, Brian. Uh, yours, you have okay. a dragon. No, I, no. To be honest, I'm gonna say Tim's because when he dropped the dragon, yeah, and, and the st- he dropped the dragon. Dro- Str- <laughs> I dropped the dragon. <laughs> and, and Doctor Strange. I mean, come yeah. on. Okay. Only thing that would have made it better for me is if you had added Khan to the yeah, list. Yeah, I mean, I Con, okay. I'll substitute Khan in, although I, I like Sherlock's. You know, because abilities to deduct. Because I don't care what anybody says. Into Darkness is, is great. He he's a great con. He is good. And everybody's like, oh, he ain't good. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, it was you good. spoiled that movie for me on, on Facebook. I did, didn't I? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Aaron, who do you think is the winner? <sighs> you know, I really like Popeye, but I, I have to go with Jim's list. Okay, so between round one and round two, we'll put this between John and Brian. Who's the winner between Aaron's list of James Earl Jones and my list of Benedict Cumberbatch? <sighs> Well, after thinking about it for all of three seconds, um, Brian's over there still trying to think about it. Brian, I, I mean, mean it's I'm Santa kinda... Claus. It's Santa Claus, Brian. Is so yeah, cool but see, Claus. you got a dragon and you control time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could freeze super fast Santa Claus. Oh. And if you add if you add um, Detective Thorn to it from Solar Green. <laughs> You have a pretty Toilet. serious, I pretty do. serious team. I do, I do. Yeah, gotta, um, All right, John, who's your winner? I'm gonna go with you because yes. of the because of the dragon. I mean, the dragon and the Doctor Strange. And I'm not even really touching on the fact that Dormu is like a god itself. And well, you know. but at the <laughs> yeah. same time, he was defeatable. I mean, he was. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah, he wasn't by uh, by Doctor Strange, just swanky <laughs> and time, who's time on my loop. team, Doctor yeah. Strange, able to and Brian. Yeah. Who are you going with? I'm going to go with you, Tim. Aaron, in your face. I do think out of all the Marvel characters, to be quite honest with you, he mm-hmm. is the most convincing as Doctor Strange. Uh, he's right at the top there. Yeah, he's good. He's very good he at nails that. It. And it's it's amazing. He pulls off he that American accent really well. Yeah, I mean, it's serious in that because yeah. I wasn't expecting it. I was like, how are they going to have a British Doctor Strange? All right, so what other people did you think about? What other options were you going with? Brian, you said you had a couple more. Who was somebody else you thought about? Um. So I thought at one time I thought about Sylvester Stallone because mm-hmm. you would have gotten Rocky, Rambo, mm-hmm. Cobra, and um, Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. 
Yeah. That would have been the four. Or <coughs> Hugh Jackman. Okay, who you got with Hugh Jackman? Uh, you would have had Wolverine, mm-hmm. and then Robert Inger from The Prestige. I really like that movie. With okay, the, um, yeah. But the, and then uh, I don't know the name of his character that he was in The Greatest Showman for entertainment <laughs> value. Uh, you're going down a Charlton Heston. Well. I am. I kind of took like took took the key for John. On the yeah, line. you clearly see why I ended up yeah. switching with Chris Pratt. Yeah, uh, I thought about Arnold Schwarzenegger because you would have had Conan. You would have had Dutch from Predator. You would have had the Terminators. And then you could have the... the true Lies. True Lies guy or Kindergarten Cop, mm-hmm. you know, or Twins with Danny oh, DeVito, man. which means weird. he brings Danny DeVito with him probably. Because he's a twin. Because he's a twin. Uh, Aaron, what other ones did you have? Uh, I've got yeah. one that could probably win everything. I'm going to keep him for next time we play this. It's a mm-hmm. secret. Seriously? No, Aaron? you got to show no. We're not doing this We're again. not doing no, no, this no, again, no. Aaron. Drop it. Drop uh, it, Aaron. Drop no, this it. this is well, actually... Pretty fun once you get into it. Yeah, drop it, Aaron. Which one is so it? So the one I just thought of, you're going to laugh when I say it, but whatever. Uh, Corey Feldman. You get Tommy Jarvis from the Friday 13th movies. He's, you know, sidekick, had all his powers. You get Donatello from the Ninja Turtle movies. You get Mal from Goonies. And you get Edgar Frog, the vampire hunter from Lost Boys. Aaron, that does not be Aaron, a drag that, that was time. awful. <laughs> Well, I just thought of it. Okay? But you, you led with it would probably beat everybody. No, 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 no. That's not my ringer. That's, oh, that's okay. my other one. All right, What's Aaron, your stick on your ringer. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. I got I got another one I've been thinking about. We'll save it for the next time. John, any others, or do you want to? You no, John's well, like no, Will had, Smith. No, I ain't Will Smith. But um, one I really thought about, and I didn't really remember him until I picked up and looked at the loser one, is Idris Elba. Okay. I, I, I will, uh, of course, you got Handall right off the top. Mm-hmm. You got his character in The Losers. Yep. But the only the only reason I couldn't pick is the only other cool character I've seen him <laughs> is the gunslinger. No, no, he's uh he's in the new Fast and Furious spinoff movie. He's like a supervillain with made bulletproof and stuff. He's yep. the bad guy in it. Hobbs and Shaw. No. Yeah. No, oh, Jason know. Statham. Oh, you got, oh that was one of mine. You yeah. got the transporter. You got the mechanic. The mechanic. That one? Where he's got the adrenaline thing, where he crank, is that what's called? Crank. Yeah. He's, he's got. Good. He's uh. He's in. He's Shaw in the Fast and Furious movies. Idris Elba is one of my is one of my favorite actors. So yeah. I liked him in the gun. I mean, the Dark Tower. Even though yeah. it was a crappy movie, he was in Star Trek Beyond. Yeah, he is some kind of that. some kind of Cardassian, <laughs> not Cardassian. You yeah. know, so, yeah. So John, let me ask you this: the the news came out this week that he might be replacing. Will Smith and Suicide Squad. Uh, yeah, I heard that. Definitely, I could, I could handle. So you that. think that's a better choice? Yeah, yeah anyone I think it is be. a better choice. Will well, Smith would have been a good choice because you get Hancock, you get the genie, you get uh, Deadshot, the, the and, devil, and you get the devil. Do you get? Yeah, the genie? he's the devil. That's not out yet. Well, the thing about it is, is yeah, I think, I think he'll be better because I think he'll bring a a darker sense to it. I think he'll have a he'll have a more um, Gritty. I mean, it's fill. according to what the visionary director James okay. Gunn decides. Right. What direction? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and give my ringer answer. All right, Aaron, Aaron. Aaron. Okay, John. We definitely need the drum roll right here. Right, Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Aaron is saying this one right here is gonna destroy everything. Josh Brolin. Oh, you, you get, get Thanos. A, you get Agent K from Men in Black Three. Okay, that's terrible. You get Cable from yeah, Deadpool. That's good. You that's get good. Thanos. Definitely and you get good. George W. Bush. It's done. You, we George waited w. for Bush. that. Aaron. <laughs> That's like, oh hey, guys, God. I've seen this also, great movie called Tag. Also, you get Ryan Reynolds. You got Deadpool. Yeah, that's what I was you got Green Lantern. How Jordan. You've got Detective Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> we waited for that. Oh Charlton Heston ain't looking too bad now, is it, John? <laughs> Charlton Heston ain't Definitely looking not. too bad. We're, we're almost out of time. Yeah. Oh, wrap it up, boys. Wrap, wrap it up. It up. Uh, I had one more, um, but Aaron distracted me. So the other one I saw that was good was Liam Neeson mm-hmm. yeah. because you get Zeus. Uh, you get Aslan from, um, you know. Chronicles of Narnia. There you go, Chronicles of Narnia. You get him from Taken where he just kills everybody, and then I, I don't really know. Oh, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Yeah. From uh, Star Wars. So, so that would have been I mean, a pretty good list. But anyway, You need to stop with your drag. You, you're, you're dragging I'm good. Time. I'm you're good, good with Benedict. Yeah. Benedict wins. So uh, if you've got a list 
that you would like to share? I really wish Charlie would have been here because he probably would have had some. He destroyed us. He would have had something that we none of us were even thinking of. Another one uh, was uh, the guy from Highlander. Um, oh, Christopher Lambert. Christopher Lambert, because yeah. you get Raiden from Mortal Kombat. So get many different. Tarzan. Tar- Aaron, stop. Wait. I'm somebody at Tarzan. Get Tarzan. Wet. He had a contractual nude scene in every movie he's ever in, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever notice that? Every every movie. The, the funny thing about him is he is, like, legally blind. So all the time he's doing sword fights, he cannot see. He didn't know he was in nude scenes. He didn't know he was in a movie in those scenes. Oh, my gosh. You can catch us on YouTube. We're back with this one. Uh, check us out. Look at how attractive Brian is, Ooh. not at how unattractive I am. Catch us on YouTube, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and uh, and SoundCloud. Also, listen to the Crappy Network TV podcast. And as always, I am sorry, Brent. And I'll see you later, players. Aaron. Also, you've got Jeff Goldblum, which is Aaron and Prince of Egypt, The Fly, Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, and back from Earth Girls Are Easy. Done. <laughs>